Hi everybody and welcome to CDH TV where I'm play testing Will and Lucas. It's a Lurus Grixis deck, very similar to Blue Farm, that's basically going for Underworld Breach, Lurus, and Fastest Oracle, and of course Adnos. This is a new deck from the community, so at the end of this video, as I'm play testing with this commander, we're gonna have a little bit of a talk about what I think about it, something of a commander review for it. So don't forget to stick around for that. My opponents today, here we have Pontus playing Absan, Kodama and Tymna. With us we also have Mavdius piloting the original blue farm with the Tymna and Krom. So we have a little bit of a battle between Will or Lucas or Tymna and Krom. Last we have Josh Husa with Sika. Husa often describes himself as a Timmy player and this is truly a Timmy deck filled with a lot of hate bear with a lot of stacks abilities that Isika turns into mana dorks that later wins with Nigella the Blade Blossom. But now we are ready to start the match. Go ahead and go. Marsh Flats. Throw Mach. This Varagoth underneath. Crack this Marsh Flats for a Savannah. I'm gonna go ahead and just play this Ignoble Hierarch and pass the turn. I'm gonna draw a card for the turn. I'm gonna put this Scalding Tarn into play, sacrifice it for white and red, and cast an Esper Sentinel, and then I'm passing the turn. Sure. I'll play a Bayou, I cast a Elvish Mystic, pass. Draw a card, I will play a Command Tower, I to cast Mana Vault. Can I draw a card for my Esper Sentinel? You may draw a card, and I'm gonna pass turn. Untap, draw. I will mm -hmm. play this man tower. If uh, if there weren't if there weren't you know three other white players at the table, I I would I would have played something else. But that Draneth is always something I worry about. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and if that's good, I'll pass. I'm gonna take my turn. Draw a card. Volcanic Island. Have this Plato for a gamble with a really beautiful art. Gamble. So I will use the discard a card at random, and I'm discarding a Force of Will to the Grave due to the gamble. I'm gonna cast a Mana Vault with the Volcanic Island. And if I see a man, I'm gonna cast Mox Opal. I have Melcroft. So I have one, two, three artifact. Yep. I'm gonna tap this for white, and I'm gonna cast a card that goes by the name of Curse of Silence, which is a cursed card. I enchant it to a player, and I name a card. Spells with a chosen name cost two more to cast. And when you cast that spell, I draw a card. So considering you have Mana Vault and you could have an Adnos next turn, wait a minute, I can shoot. Okay. I can say Commander on this. Yeah, you can. I'm, I think, so I have two options. Either I'm gonna go Adnosium or Chrom. I'm actually gonna go Chrom and I'm gonna put it on you, Madeus. Okay, so my Chrom costs two more now. Correct. And after all this okay. nonsense, I will smash you too, Madeus, for one damage and pass the turn. <laughs> Draw. Cast a deafening silence. Yeah, the and board then, is quiet. Uh, sure. Great. Yeah. Then I'll cast a, a Sylvan Safekeeper and pass. On top, yeah. draw. I'll play Zadi Richard, Malevolent Hermit. Okay, I'm gonna pass turn. Draw. Tap two. Quest for renewal. Whenever a creature you control becomes tapped, you may put a quest counter on quest for renewal. As long as there are four or more quest counters on quest for renewal, untap all creatures you control during each other player's untap step. Oh, it's like a seedborn muse almost. Almost, yeah. I will move to combat. Swing uh, two at you, Mon. I'll take two. And play Sorius Renegade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that quest for renewal gets a counter. A Misty Rainforest as land for turn, and I'll pass. I'm gonna take my turn and draw a card. I'm gonna tap white, black, and I'm gonna cast Will the Wise. To get some card draw. When Will the Wise enters or leaves the battlefield, each opponent may investigate. Each opponent who doesn't lose one life, and I investigate X, where X is uh, the number of you guys investigating plus one for myself. So, uh, Pontus, do you investigate? Uh, do I? Sure. Then I investigate a second time. Adeus, do you investigate? No, I'm not gonna investigate. Then you lose a life. Yes, who's that? That's fine. Do you investigate? You do? Yeah. Then I investigate a third time. I'm going to crack Misty Rainforest and sure. go get uh, a Bayou. After all this, I am going to pass the turn. So the thing with Will is that for only two mana, you gain a lot of clues that you can transform into card draw. That is good. However, you are giving away a little bit of card draw to your opponents, but you should be gaining more card draw personally yourself. Hopefully this group hugging stuff doesn't backfire. 
Go for it. Draw out for Promblade, land for her. I'll cast Date in Lock. And then I will go to combat. Sure. I mean, there are blockers kind of everywhere. I know. I'll attack my this one. I, I'm going to block that. Sure. Let's die. Yeah, he, he wants Great. it to die. Yeah. I just have a counter. Uh, pass turn. Okay. Uh, on to key draw. I'm going to play a Blood Crypt, shock myself. A3, Benevolent Geist in the graveyard. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pass turn. Right. On your end step, A2, crack this clue into the command tower to play a Gilded Drake. Mm -hmm. I pass on the Gilded Drake. Yeah, I'm going to pass. All right. ETB, uh, I would like a Tina. That sucks really hard. You can sack your lands. Mm -hmm. I can, but I'm... I'm really behind either way, so whichever choice I do, it's the wrong choice because this is a shitty position. <laughs> it's true. Oh, poor Pontus, but it is kind of true. Pontus is lacking attackers, and people are having blockers a little bit everywhere, so getting Kadra with Tumna is going to be tricky for him, and he's lacking mana, so he can't really cast Kodama for a while, which is a good attacker. A 6 6 is really tricky for people to block, but Pontus isn't currently getting somewhere at the moment. And choosing between losing Tumna or land doesn't really help his cause. I'll say I'll sack Savannah. You very shroud. Oh. Alright, I'll move to combat. Three, three, Lavinia at Medeus. Um post combat. Although also you can't cast Adnaz. I I, I, I take it back. And because Lavinia's out. I guess you'd have to remove the Lavinia and the Deafening Silence. Um I'm yeah. gonna tap two for a Dothy Voidwalker. Quest counters, quest for renewal. Uh, I will play this land for turn. Uh, pass the turn. I'll take my turn and draw a card. Upkeep, I will untap. I'm gonna tap one, two, and sacrifice a clue and draw a card. I'm gonna tap this mana vault. Add two colorless. Rack a clue. Draw a card. Here we go. Ursa's Saga. Land drop. With the remaining colorless clue, I will, uh, mana I mean, I will sacrifice the last clue and this Ursa Saga and draw a card. And Lay my only non-creature spell per turn, Mox Amber. After all this nonsense, I pass the turn. Okay, I'm tap. Well, go to combat. I guess I'll swing team life moss. I am going to block with Will. So yeah. Will will leave the play. Mm -hmm. And we have a Will trigger on the stack again. So I'm going to Wee. generate a clue. Pontus, would you like to have a clue? No, it's fine. Then you lose a life. Adios, yeah, would I you know. like to have a clue? <sighs> I'm gonna have a clue this time. And I also get a clue. And Kuza, do you would would you like to have a clue? Yeah, I feel like I'll get more out of a card than you will. So, and I have, I have all a, of this. I have a feeling that too, sadly. But I, I do need the clues. Yeah, I, I, I do need the cards. And then, uh, yeah. I gained two. I gained one because I lost a life with the tree. It's true. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Okay, uh, on the upkeep draw. Use mana vault. Uh, I'm going to use one exotic orchard and blood crypt. A Dimna, uh, moving to combat. So I'm gonna swing to flyer and fly team. Sure. Uh, in my main phase to the draw card, use command tower. First non-creature spell. It's gonna be soul ring. Okay, I'm gonna sack a clue, the draw card, and then I'm gonna pass turn. Right, on your end step, I'm gonna tap two, break this clue, mm -hmm. untap, draw, move to combat. Sika at you, and then I'm going to swing Dothy at Mon. Take free. Although, wait, is it with Luris? Is Luris that you can't have anything more than two CMC in your. No, no yes. permanents. More oh, than two CMC. Yeah, no, no, t oh, no permanents, right? Okay, all right. Yeah, so, so you can't play at loss. I can't play yeah, at loss. Okay, yeah, okay. So I will, I will swing yeah, I'll take that at you. I do play at loss. I'm gonna take my turn and lose a life to Mana Vault. I'll add a counter on Ursa Saga, create a, a big creature. I'm gonna play a Verdant Catacomb, and I'm gonna sacrifice the Verdant Catacomb immediately. I'm gonna find an underground sea. I'm gonna cause my Dothy Voidwalker. After this, I pass the turn. In your end step, I'll crack my clue. And that, well, I think I just go all in here. Mad is for two, monster one. I might as well. So I'm gonna activate this and create a construct. Oh, right, you can make a construct. Okay, I will take two. Uh, so, so my safekeeper dies, goes to exile. You are again to post combat main phase, two minute trigger. I'll play a life and draw a card. Blooded strand, land for turn. Scrub land. I will tap, cast a Esper Sentinel, then I'll cast a Flexor Roof. I have no mana to crack my clues, but I guess my clues will make my construct bigger. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, they will. No, nothing. No, no response. 
Uh, okay, on to draw, I'm gonna lose a life from Mana Vault. Verdant Catacombs, crack my Catacombs. Yep, I'm gonna run C. Benevolent guy, is it you? I, you is me, I take two, right? Uh, yeah, it's two, and in my second main phase, I'm gonna pay one life to draw a card. Uh, these two, I'm double blue, purple. Sweet, I have nothing more. I, okay. I pass. I'm gonna full priority to its trigger, and I'm gonna cast Dainty Pact. Trigger Esper Sentinel. You can draw. Oh, it's un it's I, also a, yeah, it I also have a. I also have Esper Sentinel trigger. Yeah, you can draw, but there's a banana line, guys, it cannot be countered. Yeah, yeah. But you never know. I have nothing, though. Kind of uh, yeah, no, there's uh, not. At this point, once one pass is hit, there's nothing. Well, that depends. I mean, so I can. Have a new deck, Kusa. Because he here's, can take the, here's the thing Kusa can take the Tainted Pact with his Dolphin. Yeah, no, I no, 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 exactly. Because my is suffering from summoning sickness, and yeah. I yeah. can't cast anything that I take because yeah. I can't go past Lavinia's or Renegade. Yeah, yeah. The, um, so if you run Stifle or Angel's Grace, we might survive. No, or? I, do, I don't. I don't have Stifle or Angel's Grace, so. You have nothing. Yeah, I guess you know yeah, your that, entire deck. It's just I don't. It's very I, well, limited just, what I we can, can do here. So what we're talking about here is that we can let Tainted Pact resolve. Then Kusa sacrifices Doffy Void Walker to cast the Tainted Pact, digging through his deck, finding a form of interaction. However, at this point, there's nothing we can actually find that is going to save us. Also, if there's any problems, I. I'm showing active. Uh, you can't because there's a deflected silence in play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't cause that either because there's a Levinian play as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's um, true. Okay, anyway, but. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, still winning yeah, with you. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play of the game. Benevolent Geist in the graveyard. Nice. Mm -hmm. Benevolent Geist was definitely great this game, protecting that tainted pack from counter spells, but also helping Tumna draw cards as this got flying. Big congrats, Madeus! Nice win! And honestly, I think Tumna Krom is the stronger commander pair. The group hug side of will doesn't really sell me that much. You need to pay mana for those clues, you can get stomped by Collector Roof. Tumna cares nothing of that. Sure, sometimes Tumna doesn't have attackers, but usually Tumna gets there with some card draw anyways. And I really dislike the part where you're giving away card draw for your opponents. Also, this guy is heavily feeding Dockside. Something you should think about. During all my games, I've never really felt the actual cause for costing Lucas, where Krom is actually a pretty decent, good card drawing commander on his own, while this is basically doing nothing but killing Birds of Paradises. Sometimes. And with the companion nerf, this is basically a 6 man cost bad version of Muldrotta. Sadly. In all the games I played with Lucas and Will, I never actually cast Lurus because I always had better things to do with my mana instead and I really never got to a point where I was grinding value from my graveyard. All my games were basically too fast for this to ever get into action and start doing anything. I'd never felt that it destroyed the deck in from away as you're forced to play two CMC permanents only, however, I don't think this commander is that good enough for it. That's my final review for this commander pair. Can this deck win games? Absolutely. This can win games. It has a Turbo Odd Nost in there, very similar to Blue Farm. I just think that the commanders that we're running here are a little bit mediocre compared to what we already have available to us. The go-tos are still Tumnacrom. That's all. See you around, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.